Hello everybody, I am Wakuma. Welcome to this video. For those who are not a family of this YouTube, I request you to subscribe to be a family member and to get day to day and updated information based on uh, these uh, courses. Today I will teach you in this video introduction to economics for all freshman students. Freshman university students, whether you are social, natural, and every uh, department, I will teach you in these uh, courses, these economics courses. Now let's start the introduction to economics. To start under this topic, we will see about the definition and the scopes of economics, branches of economics, and methods of economic analysis. In chapter two, demand and supply, about the uh, the consumer behavior. Consumer behavior, when we say about utility, utility ma maximizing, income, consumption curves, and the others, and production costs, and finally about the uh, national income accounting, about GDP, GNP, and uh, uh, the others will be discussed in the whole these courses. Let's start with the beginning. Uh, to, stay, to start these uh, courses, let me, you may be asked about important points. Do you know the word economics? Have you heard? You may hear, yes, you may hear about the economics. Economics may be in everybody or in day to day our lives the science of economics may be applied. For example, our fa families may go to market to purchase goods and services. In order to purchase these goods and services, they decide based on their incomes. The income in their pocket may be whether it is enough or not enough to purchase goods and services. They decide based on this amount of money in the pockets. This is a science how to the budget uh, line uh, our capability to buy goods and services is based on our income. If we have, we have high income, you can, we can buy much goods and services. If we have low income, based on low income we have, we can buy low amount of goods and services. We may heard about the resources. This is the, our limitation of the resources. Uh, you may be asked what is the efficient allocation, what are human needs, what does demand mean, what is economics, maybe important questions. So this course will answer all these questions. What is economics, demand and supply, theories of consumer, production, cost, market structure, and the fundamental concepts of macroeconomics at large. That means we will see both macro and micro, the two branches of economics. So what is economy? What is economics? Economics, you may hear this word economics from uh, economic uh, scholars, economics scholars, or you may hear from uh, students of economics. You may hear about this word of economics. It is, that means the word economics may not be uh, new for you, but the definition of economics may be new for you. That means the word economics comes from the Greek words. That means one who manage a household. Economics means economica. The Greek word economica, it comes from this economica, and the meaning means one who manage a household. Those who can manage their household. In the household, there are expenditures, there are productions in the home. Home production, home ex consumption, ex consumption expenditure, and so on. This managing all these things, according to the Greek word phrase, economica, it is household management. Again, in the latest, that means the known, the economic knowns, or the, who is said to be the fathers of economics, Adam Smith. Adam Smith, in 1776, wrote his known book with a title, An Inquiry into the Nature and the Causes of Wealth on Nature. He wrote in this about the economy. Many other writers also expressed this economics. Adam Smith explained 
in his book about the economics. Other economists is also explain, try to explain about the uh, economics. So the definition is based on different things. These different economics, economists define economics in different ways. That means there is no generally accepted about the definition of economics because of the different economists define the word economics whether it is based on the world definition like of Adam Smith, based on world fair definition, based on scarcity definition, based on the growth definition and based on all these things the economists define economics in different ways but there is no far difference between these different economists even if they define based on all these important points that it means wealth it may be welfare it may be scarcity it may be on growth the definition is almost they are approached to each other that means almost they are similar in their definitions there is no difference so economics can be the most comprehensive definition of economics is that a social science which studies about efficient allocation of scarce resources so as to attain the maximum fulfillment of unlimited human wants. this comprehensive definition from the whole definition of economics is comprehensively it uh, defined the word economics as it is the social science that studies about the efficient allocation of resources so as to attain the maximum fulfillment of human material wants. From this definition, we can understand the important points. What are the important points that we define from, we understand from the definition of economics? This, we un can understand from this definition that economics is, it is a subject that study about scarce resources. It is a subject that study about the allocation of resources. About the scarce resources, allocation or distribution of resources, uh, again, human needs are unlimited. This important, four important points we can discuss, we can understand from the definition of economics. That means, let me repeat, from the definition of economics, we can understand the key points, four key points. One, it is scarce. Resource is scarce. The second, how to allocate the resources. That means distributing of the, uh, the resources among the customers or consumers the other is the allocation should be efficient the allocation of this resource should be efficient the fourth one is human needs are unlimited now from this again understanding of the four key points human wants are unlimited resources are limited so how can we compromise these two uh, opposing words limited and unlimited there are the rationals of economics, the two rationals of economics. One, material wants are unlimited. That means the desire to fulfill or satisfy our wants, our desire is unlimited. The second is economic resources are limited. So the basic problem is about scarcity and the choice. The basic problem in this point is resource is scarce and this scarcity leads us to choice. The major factor that forces us to choose among the alternative is due to scarcity. This is the this point is the fundamental thing that uh, exists for the study of the economics. The word economics or the subject economics, the basic thing or the basic factor for the study of the subject economic is due to scarcity of resources. Now, the other is uh, economics is the study of human beings. Because of this, we can say it is, as we said at the beginning, economics is a science. That means a social science that studies how to allocate scarce resources so as to attain the maximum fulfillment of human material once we said. It is the study of social science. We can say the subject economics is both a science and an art. It is a science because it collects the data, problems, and analyzes and gives a suggestion or 
It gives a solution that is a science. Economic is also an art because it studies about human behavior. In human behavior, we study about the utility, satisfaction. How can, how can we satisfy our wants? What is utility? It studies about this. It is a human behavior. So we can say that economics is both science and an art. Uh, the problem of scarcity leads us, I have told you, it uh, leads us a choice. It is about human behavior. So these are concerning about for the existence of an economics. Economics, as I have told you, it is applied in day-to-day -day human lives. It is everywhere. If you, when, whether you are a medicine student, whether you are engineer student, or any, any computational science student or social science, you should apply the science of economics. The science of economics is in life of everybody. In a life of everybody. Because there is a human behavior. Whether you are studying any any stream, you are applying or you are living with a science of economics. For example, you may be a businessman. For a businessman, you know about profit. You are talking about the profit. If you establish your clinic of the, or clinic work, or you are a pharmacist, you are talking about profit. You are talking about the supply of different medicines, the supply of medicine and the demand for your medicines. That is application of economics. If you are an engineer, to construct some uh, something, whether it is road or a house or anything, you have to calculate your costs and benefits. That is application of economics. If you are a teacher, you may choose whether to teach or to work in another thing. That is choice. That choice is application of an economics. If you are studying your master's degree, you are also applying your uh, the economics because you choose to study master's rather than working in any anything, any sectors. So economics is applied to the life of everybody. We can because it is both science and art. It studies about the science, it studies about the human behavior. Because of that, economics is very important for all human beings. If you are a politician, you apply the science of economics. Because how to supply, how to distribute goods and services, how to provide different infrastructural uh, services for your society, you apply the science of economics. So economics is a very important for doctors, that means medical doctors, for politicians, for engineers, for farmers, and for every human being. Thank you for your attention. We'll see another, with, uh, we'll come with another uh, video in the next. For today, it is enough. Thank you. Goodbye.